Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain you how you can filter contacts from your address book of your phone. First of all, I have to say I'm a little bit sick today. I hope you can understand me as well, but sometimes maybe it will be difficult to understand me. I'm sorry for that. So if you have seen my previous demo, you know how this works. In this case, I'm using two fake contacts because I cannot share any personal information. So first of all, let's see what we are creating. Search for Jack. Okay, I will search inside your contacts. I found multiple contacts. All the contacts will be shown on the screen. So when I say to my phone search for a contact name it will search in my contact list and it will show me the result in a list so for this example i have two jacks on my phone jack daniels and jack sparrow this is a scene we have a title and an exit button and we have all the separate things so when i click on one of the contacts i want to see that contact information so for example, I click on Jack Daniels, I will see the personal information of Jack Daniels. I see the name, I see the picture, I see the phone number, I see the address, I see the email, I see the birthday, and then we have also several other options. So for this example, auto listening is on, or auto voice continues is on, and we have several other commands, text, call, email and navigate. So we can use that. But for this example, I'm not gonna explain this scene completely. I will explain how you can trigger this. Okay, let's exit it. So we are creating a list first and then when we see our results, when we select one of the results, we want to open the contact information so let's jump inside tasker and let's see what we are doing there when we are in our profiles we see one profile contact info and you will see we use contact filter and as trigger we use an auto voice recognized event the task is only contact info this one and we use also two scenes and that's the scene contact filter and contact info 2. The contact filter is the list and the contact info 2 is the scene where you see the personal information of that specific contact that you have selected. So the most important thing is the task. Let's go back to that task and we will see here contact filter and let's open that. When I open that task you will see several actions 13 actions in total when you look very good you will see a lot of if and else and and ifs so the main part is only the two first actions what's below the two first actions is if we have multiple contacts if we have one contact found or if we have no contact found so first of all we are creating an action auto contacts and we use the contact name or nickname is the variable name that's quite easy let's go back and then we say okay i will search inside your contacts and that's all the say command that's quite easy okay now we have action tree if ec names then we have a bracket and then we have a hashtag and then close brackets bigger than one so the ec names with and hashtag is the number of results remember that so in this example we have two jacks so easy names will be two so it's bigger than one so when we have multiple contacts in this case we have to say i found multiple contacts and all the contacts will be shown on the screen and then we're gonna show the scene the show contact filter the contact filter is a list and in this case, I'm using overlay blocking fill window. You can choose whatever you want. Let's go back. And then we have an and if statement. Quite easy. Okay. Then we have an if statement if ec names hashtag is or match one. So we say I found one contact name. 
and then we say also the contact name is the name of that contact let's go back that's quite easy all we do an auto contacts details we use contact ID is EC ID the ID of auto contacts and we use get picture is true why because we want to see that picture as well of our contacts in our scene so let's go back and then we are gonna open that scene the contact info too so remember the contact info too was the scene with all the details of the contact when we go down you will see here else if EC name is not set we say just sorry I couldn't find any contact with that name it's quite easy and then we close with an and if so that's our task it's not that difficult so let's close that task and let's open our scenes so I gonna explain how the contact filter scenes work so the contact scene is just easy this scene will give you a list so I have an icon, I have a text, I have an exit button and I have also another text and I have here a big rectangle. I'm not gonna explain everything. The text and icons, it's quite easy, you know that. Remember, place a text or an icon and also when you click on that, you need to have the destroy scene action and then that scene. Be sure you have that. Okay, we have here, there, and then the result of names that found. When I click on that, you will see here found contact names, and then we see here, there, and then you see that variable again. EC names, and then the hashtags, and then names found. And then the main part, the main part is the contact list, of course. So the contact list is just one thing. The contact list is just and menu so when I click on plus you will see here menu okay I'm gonna open my menu you will see here UI background item tab and item long tab so what I'm using right here is UI and item tab so first of all you need to configure your elements you need to configure the geometry you can resize it as you want but the most important thing is the source in this case we are using an array if you have seen my previous tutorials you know what arrows is i've explained that there so we have an array of all the contacts so in this case we have an array ec names and inside ec names will be the all the jacks we have on our phone so we're gonna use the source variable array and the variable will be ec names then we have the selection mode you can choose by none single item or multiple item in this case i'm using none so you can see what i'm selecting if you have single you will see the selection of course and then we have the item layout the item layout is the layout of every separated result so you saw we have all our results below each other and we have used three dots and an icon and we have also see the name so how can you change that layout it's quite easy here inside that rectangle you will see a little preview when you click on that little preview you can edit that scene so when i click on that so you will see here the icon and here will be the text and here the three dots i'm sorry I have here double dots. Don't worry about that. In this window, you can change the size of our layout, but you cannot change the elements inside it. So, when you have this one, you can, for example, resize, you can make it bigger or smaller, that's all. That's the same as a normal scene. And when we click on here, the magnify glass with an X on it, you will see all those separated things. Here I have an icon and here I have a label. You will see also here the element edit is label. You will see here the text. You can change the text size, the text width, scale percent, etc. etc. Okay, let's go back and then you can do other things as well 
whatever you want. Let's go back and when I go down you will see also here that I'm using 20 as vertical space between each element. So each element is 20 offsets from each other. That's the layout. The next thing is the item tab. So what's happening when I tap on one of the items? When I click on one of the items you will see here auto context, context name, ID and we use another thing. You will see here tap label. So what I'm doing right here, I'm moving the label. You saw what the label was, that was the name. I'm using the tap label as my contact name. So I'm moving this variable inside my contact name, okay? Then we are using auto contact details and we're using ECID and then we are getting the picture. Of course then we are gonna set number to EC number why because I can use the number again later on and then we're gonna destroy the scene contact filter and then we are gonna show our details of our contacts so we're gonna show contact info to display as overlay blocking full window you can change that whatever you like that's all you need to do and then we have our contact info too that's our details when i click on that you will see here several things i created ec name ec number ec streets one postcode one cities regions, countries, easy email, event, etc, etc, icons, backgrounds, images, etc, etc. So I'm not gonna explain this one. This one is just a scene where I can see all the information of my contacts. So for this example, you know how this works. Search for Jack. Okay, I will search inside your contacts. I found multiple contacts. All the contacts will be shown on the screen. So as you see, it's this one what I have explained. So we have our list with the separated items. And when we click on one of the contacts, we're gonna get another scene and that's the detail scene. So that's quite easy. So if you have any problems with this, you can post that on my Google community or YouTube channel and we will help you as soon as possible. And have also a nice weekend and see you later.